so it's been seven days since we poured the counter. We've been thrilled with how they've turned out. Um, you just have to be very careful, probably like you would with marble or whatever, to wipe up things right away. But on the most part, we're thrilled with how they look. They're very soft looking, but very durable. So today I'm going to try to start doing the backsplash. Now this particular pattern that we have um, is just not a square pattern, right? You've got all these indentations here of the tiles. So I, I went outside and I cut one and just taped it so I could get an idea. I'm going to put spacers at the bottom here to raise it up a little bit and then start to um, put the mastic on. Now, what I, I'm not a tile guy, but what I thought I would do was mark it like this so that I know where to put the mastic at because I what I don't want to happen is for me to get loaded up with tons of glue when I when I try to put the top piece on I don't want glue all over the place so I'm just I'm just going to put mastic um in in this area you know put this on and then then this will be dry where I can dry fit um, another piece. It's going to be a challenge. I've got tons of uh, outlets to work around, um, especially on the other walls. There's a window. There's more outlets. So I'm going to just take my time and see how it goes. I think it's going to be fine, but it's just it's going to be a lot of work. So um, I'll try to shoot videos every so often to kind of keep you in the loop of how we're doing with it. My goal today is just to get one side done. So we'll see. So so far so good. Uh, the project has been taking several weeks. We've been doing it as we have time, but it's been a fun project. So the goal is to have this done in time for Christmas. So what I did is I have uh, these grinding wheels, they're masonry grinding wheels, and I have a grind hand grinder. I didn't want to rent a saw because I'm not going to be doing all of it in one day. So I tried these already. They worked really well. So hopefully um, this is going to be all I need to cut the tile. I got these at Home Depot. They were about three bucks a piece. So we'll see how long they last.
Man, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> I got it. So, yeah, done. Glad to be done with that. So today we're gonna be grouting the backsplash. So we're gonna be showing you how we do that. Uh, the kitchen's coming along really, really great. We're very excited about it. And really one of the final pieces of the puzzle here is grouting this backsplash and then doing some minor um, touch-ups with trim and stuff like that. But we'll show you the finished product when we're all done. But let's get started on the grouting. Okay, I mixed my grout up right here. And I'm just gonna just take my time and begin to push it down inside the seams, the cracks here, the joints. And you, and you wanna try to get as much as you can because it just saves you having to clean it up later. So I have a decent sized trowel here. And then I also purchased a smaller one here to get into more tight spots. So that's basically all you're doing with grouting. So I'm not gonna take the time to, you know, do a video on all of it, but you just basically wanna get it into those cracks and then uh, clean it up as much as you can. Uh, we have a sponge that will have a bucket of water and then I'll go over it and wipe off the excess before it sets up. So that's basically the grout process. I'll show you in just a moment what this looks like done. Okay, so all of the grout is in. And what you wanna do is you wanna, when you mix the grout, you wanna mix it thicker than what you think it would be. The thinner you make it, it, it actually gravity will kind of pull it out of the joints. So the thicker you make it, it, it holds it in there um, and kind of locks in there. And then you just keep wiping this down every, you know, probably half hour, an hour with a, a, a damp sponge and it'll just really make it nice. And then I'll probably do that three or four times. And then at the very end, when it's completely dry, I'll just take a, um, a dry cotton towel and go over it and then it'll just, it'll get the haze off it. But it looks, it looks really good. Um, so once that sets up, um, you'll get an idea of what it looks like. But I think overall, I think it turned out really good. So you can see all of the grout is in and I've let it dry overnight. And all you have to do at this point, because there's gonna be a little bit of a um, white residue from the grout, is you just take a cotton towel and you just wipe over it like this and it removes all of that. It doesn't really take that long. And then it'll take off any, any of the residue. And as you can see, just like that, you've got shine now back on the tiles. It's a beautiful look. And I love the grout in there. It just lightens it up, softens it up. And so I'm going to be wiping all of this down and then finishing up the rest of the kitchen. But so far, I'm really happy with the look. Yeah, so that's... That's the backsplash, completely white. It's got the nice sheen on the tiles, but uh, all of the residue is gone. So you can kind of see how nice that looks. Just a nice soft look. Okay, the day has finally arrived and we are finished with the kitchen project. Yep. Are you happy with it? I love it. What's your favorite uh, part of it? The brightness, how it looks clean and um, just elegant. Um, do you think that anybody could take this on? Yes. Yeah. I'm not anybody <laughs> like you. No, but, but I meant most people could yes, do it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we kind of did a tally, and I think we have a little under 2,500 for the whole entire mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cheap when it when you think about, you know, redoing a kitchen, putting new yeah. granite in or marble, you, 
you'd be looking at five or six grand just for that. Yeah, and if it's our size, it's more like 15, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, with everything. So um, we got out of it pretty inexpensively. Is that a word? Did I just make up a word? Yeah, inexpensively? Good. Okay, good. So uh, we'll show you. We're going to do a walkthrough, and we're going to show you what it looks like. And I'm, I'm just excited we're, we're finally done because I'm it's, getting old. Except the glass. Except the glass. Yeah. We'll show you what we mean. My so, pet peeve, but... Yeah. Other than that, I'm we'll do the glass. It. We'll yeah. do the glass. So, yeah. um, ready to take them on a tour? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, here's a view of the kitchen. We put new um, lights up here, and we, we've kind of went with the kind of the black matte black theme. And so, come on, Kim, let's do a walkthrough. So this is the the countertops you can see here. We did put. Um, Handle. New handles and hinges on the it. on the doors. Look at that there, even on the doors, and black faucet, black matte black faucet, soap. soap dispenser. How do you like the backsplash, honey? I love it. I think it's um, classy. It's not too much, but it just gives it, especially with the matte um, white countertops. I think it's just the right touch. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to this side. Yeah, I think it turned out really, really good. So here, I love that we just painted the knobs. We didn't have to replace them all. They can get expensive depending on which ones you choose. But we're going to go with frosted glass instead of this cat hair look that somebody chose before. So to, to you, it looks like just a bunch of cat hair stuck to a... I think somebody spray glued it and let their long-haired cat roll on it. And that's what I see when I try to paint. <laughs> all right. I know I'm manic, but that... It, drives me crazy and I don't like my spices and everything showing. Okay. So I want frosted glass. Okay. We'll do, we'll do that. That'll be another video because okay. we need content. Um, so you can see the backsplash turned out great and the countertop is fantastic. We love the color of the cabinets now. Um, so I think everything turned out really, really good. So as we finish out this particular project, where she's on her tiptoes because you're a little <laughs> short, um, uh, it's been a fun project. Um, I would say minimal, um, like dust and dirt. I mean, there was some, yeah. especially the grinding day. Right. But uh, once we got that kind of cleaned up, it wasn't that bad. It was worth it for, I mean, if you remember the pictures of what it looked like in mm -hmm. here before, how mm -hmm. dark and nothing matched. and. The amount of dust was definitely worth having a new kitchen. All right. So that's that'll do it for this episode of Fix It Warrior. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, on to the next project. So, try it yourself. And, uh, yeah, try it yourself. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I was afraid. But we, we got it. it. We made it. So, we did it. all right. God bless you and have a great day.